guys. So, a lot of people have been asking for me to do a reptile collection video. Like, since I've had so many updates on reptiles, if you go to my old, um, my rep, my old reptiles video of, like, all my reptiles, there's been a lot of changes. So, today I'm going to be doing a collection video. I'm just going to show all my, uh, reptiles, and, uh, let's get to it. Alright, so here's Coda. Uh, she's grown a lot since you guys have seen her. Um... Not much to tell about her. If you haven't seen her before, she's a normal. Uh, she's not a year old yet. She'll be a year old in August. So there she is. Alright, so right here we have Ty. We're doing the ball pythons first, because that's the way I roll. Uh, he's a pinstripe. Uh, he hasn't grown as much as Coda, because he's a boy. But he's actually grown since I've gotten him. Um, he's His colors are just beautiful. Uh, I can't wait to breed him with Coda. A lot of people have been asking if, gonna, if I'm going to breed ball pythons, and I'm totally going to to try to get that jewel pinstripe. And uh, So, yeah, that's Ty. So now we're moving on to the corns, and since a lot of you know that Dee's been missing, um, after we're done with the corns, I'm going to do a slideshow of just some old pictures I have of her, just a couple of them, and uh, just to remember her. Uh, she's not dead for sure, but um, I hope I do find her soon, so uh, let's move on. So right here we got my big boy Screech. Uh, I haven't had a ton of videos of him. He was my second sneak. He's on the camera. Um, there he is. And I'll put him down. He's my biggest corn. He is probably five feet long. And he's an Anray corn. Uh, I don't, a lot of people ask how old he is. He's like four years old. And, uh, if I ever get another female, which should be a blood red, I shall breed it with him. He's going behind my purple dresser. So, that's Screech. <laughs> So next on the corn list is Starch, which is Dee's mate and the father or the dad. I don't know why I say father, because I don't, never mind. Um, he's the dad of all the uh, hatchlings, and he was supposed to be in this year, but since he's gone missing, he hasn't had any action. But um, here he is. He's a male, and he is a normal, or oak tea. Uh, he has really nice red colors. Um, yeah, he's a big boy. He's about six years old, and he's really awesome. He's got some nice yellow going on, and so, yeah. That's starch. Alright, so now on the leopard geckos. Right here, I have my male leopard gecko, Squirt. Um, he's a high yellow. Um, not much to tell about him. He just, uh, shed, and he's a good eater. And he will be my male that I'm breeding with Callie and Belle this year. And that's Squirt. So, there he is. So right here I have Belle. She is a jungle. She's a female. Um, she's got a really nice looking tail. Um, I love the sidebars type thingies. Uh, she's a female and she's going to be breeding with Squirt in the late season. So I probably won't have any leopard gecko babies till September. And yeah, she's doing really good. She's got a blue head too. Alright, so now I have somebody that YouTube doesn't see a lot of. Um, there's probably one video of her, and uh, it's Izzy. Izzy was my third leopard gecko. Uh, she's a after line, so if I bred her with an after, it'd be like het, ap het apters. And uh, she looks a lot like a tremper albino. She's got part of a carrot tail going, 
don't know if you could see that. Um, put her down. She's pretty huge. Oh, uh, there she is. She's got a carrot tail. Huge tail right there. Um, she weighs well over 70 grams. And, uh, I need to find a male aptor to breed with her in Sunny. So, that's easy. Now, I have Callie. Uh, Callie's been in more videos than a lot of leopard geckos, but Callie's my super hy hypotangerine carrot tail baldy. That's a mouthful. But she has, like, the most amazing personality a leopard gecko could ever have. Uh, she's just totally cool. She's totally handle. She's totally tame. Um, she's got pretty colors. Um, right there she has a nice carrot tail. She's got, like, a third of a carrot tail going on. She has a nice fat tail. Uh, she's going to be in my breeding season, this late breeding season. She's going to produce some awesome babies. So um, I'm really proud of Callie. She's one of my favorite leopard geckos. So, yeah. Okay, so now we're on to Sunny. Um, Sunny usually isn't like this. Uh, her tail is kind of skinny because, not because of me, because she's been laying a lot of dead eggs lately, and I have no idea why. She has never been in with Squirt or any male. Um, she's had no, she's never even seen Squirt except for probably now. Um, see, if you guys have any tips, she just keeps laying eggs, like, two every month. She keeps laying, like, a clutch every month, and it's getting on my nerves because, not on my nerves, because uh, they're duds, and, uh, she's losing a lot of weight, so, um, I feed her at least 10 mealworms every day, and I'm trying all I can, but, uh, here's Sunny. She actually has really nice colors, except for her tail, which is not doing very good, but there's Sunny. Alright, so this is the last leopard gecko. Um, it's kind of a disappointment because, so I'm going to show you is in shed. Uh, she has amazing colors. She, uh, is going to do really good in breeding season. She's going to produce some awesome babies. But she's very fast. And I'm going to just show you her in her cage. So here she is. Her name is Mingo. Uh, she's a albino tremper jungle. Um, I'll show you guys some other pictures, um, since she's in shed, and her tail's grown a lot. Um, it looks actually skinnier on tape, but, um, she's doing awesome, and, yeah. Okay, so, Paisley, which is right here, there she is, I'm gonna get her off my shirt. Um, Paisley is a orange flame tiger, uh, crossed with a high yellow citrus. She's a beautiful bearded dragon. We call her Miss Honory because she's very honory, and she's just hilarious. Uh, definitely one of my best reptiles ever. Uh, she's like the bestest, bestest reptile ever, as I already said. Uh, she hangs out in her cage. She goes to sleep when I turn off her UVB, and she wakes up when I wake up. And she's, she's just an awesome lizard, so Paisley has actually grown a lot since you guys, guys have seen her. Um, she's actually really, really nice colored right now. Her head looks really cool, and she's got some nice color. So that's Paisley. And on to the last reptile. So the last reptile um, is probably the probably the most wanted to be seen reptile. It's Harley, the hog nose. Um, Harley is usually the most awesome snake ever, but today he chose the wrong day to be mean. Uh, he has tried to bite me at least two times. Uh, he's been hissing and he's been rattling his tail. But this isn't his normal behavior, so I'm just going to show you him in his cage. Um, there he is. He's grown a lot. He's a way more fat than he was. It might not look like that on the camera, but he, he is. Um, 
Yeah, and he's going to start hissing and all that stuff. So this is going to be a short thing of Harley, and I'm just going to get a couple pics. And, yeah, I'll do an update on Harley um, in a couple of days because this is not his normal behavior. So, that's Harley. <laughs>